Hi guys, Kayla Smith here. We're gonna do this gorgeous fall look with palette five. I love these colors. Don't be intimidated by these colors. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use them right now. There's such a right, obviously, which you can use, but we're just gonna use a couple colors today. I already started with our eye primer. That's gonna make the colors true to color and really help it stop from creasing throughout the day. So it's very, very important. I'm gonna start with our angled side of our angled sponge brush. We are starting with Suspicious, this um, color. It's a great transition color. Now this is a gorgeous light color. Like you could wear this on the lid alone. You can wear this kind of wherever you want. But I think it's such a great color to use to transition up. So just put it right on my brow bone and then we're gonna blend, blend, blend. Okay, now that we've got that color down, we're gonna go through with a vintage. This is a gorgeous, um, like, orangish, reddish color. Coppery, I guess coppery is a good color to call it. We're gonna use this angled brush and get a good amount of product on and put this in the outer V. And a little bit, I'm gonna do a little bit more than the outer V, kind of the outer half. Just slowly keep blending it in. Well, not blending necessarily yet, but bringing it in. And I like to bring the color below a little bit as well. Okay, look how gorgeous that color is. Now we're gonna finish blending as we're putting the lid color down, but that is just such a gorgeous look for fall. Like this, just this vintage color in general. You just need it in your life. You can do the whole lid, you can do whatever. But I'm gonna use our liner shader brush. Now, this is a flat side. Um, the, obviously, there's the liner side, but I'm gonna use a flat side and do Vindictive, this um, gold color. Get a good amount on the product, just on the one side. You don't need the other side because they're just gonna press it onto the eyelid. And these are totally colors I would honestly wear any time of the year, but I feel like. They are gorgeous for the fall. You know, obviously, the leaves changing, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna blend. Which is like how I like to do it because I like to kind of wipe my brush off after, before I blend. You see, I'm bringing it through the inner corner as well. Okay, wiping my brush off slightly and then blend. Do a little, I do a little tapping motion, so I'm not rubbing the product away, I'm just blending them together. So I rub through that, just that front area, and then I do tap, tap, tap. And if you have blue eyes, you should wear this color all the time, seriously. Because orange is the opposite side of the color wheel for blue, which it really complements it. Um, you know, these aren't like oranges or anything, because a lot of people don't wear orange, orange on their eyes, but like copper, reds, um, golds, oranges, you know, if you do find oranges you like, they are all really good for blue eyes to complement them. So, there we go, we got a good fourth, or no, my goodness, wrong time of the year, good Thanksgiving look. Always miss talk. <laughs> And then we're gonna do a quick clip for the for the fall time. We got Swanky. This is a gorgeous shimmery, like brick red color. Just slightly shimmery, not a lot of shimmer. So this is a gorgeous fall look. We got our deep fall lip, our fall eyes. Oh, let's get some wings though. I just realized we've got wings, and that just completes the look, right? So this is perfect liquid like liner, and I'm going to do it to make some wings, and that's going to complete the look. Let's do some good bold wings. Well, there we go. Wings just complete the fall look. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comment below or message me. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a really good one. Bye.